Hello everyone. How's everybody doing? Just hanging around today. Decided to fly to Skydio 2. Haven't messed around with this in a while. Uh, yesterday I went to my son's graduation. There he is there. My other son. It was a great day. Monmouth University he graduated. Very proud of him. There's my other son. There he is when he was younger. Graduating preschool. Now he's a grown up, grown up adult. But uh, just reminiscing today, thinking about, you know, a few months ago, had a little rough time in the family. Uh, haven't really talked about it, but I lost my mother and my father six days apart. First, my father passed away. Uh, he went to check on his condo in Florida, and he passed away in Florida. That's my mom and dad there. And my mom passed away six days later in here in New Jersey. So that was a tough time. Six days apart. My father was 93. My mother was 90. That's my whole family. I got three brothers and three sisters. But uh, it was just one of those days today. You know, I woke up in a kind of a down mood. So I was just messing around the house and stuff. You know, decided to walk outside and try this drone out again. But uh, this is, yeah, the old Fort Monmouth Army base. And uh, just wanted to fly the drone and show you guys. I try to uh, I try to crash the drone in a little while because it has you know I'm sure you guys know about the Skydio too. It's a completely autonomous drone, kind of flies by itself. Although this flight, I actually have a controller. They have a controller option that they sell, and also a beacon. Some of the videos on my YouTube channel, you guys see <clears throat> the drone follow my bikes or scooters. That's what it, with a beacon. You put the beacon in your pocket. And uh, it kind of follows the beacon, but you could also track yourself. So when the drone first goes up, it finds you automatically, you know. But I ordered a Skydio. No, it's not Skydio. A Super 73 bike uh, two weeks ago. It got crashed by a forklift. You see the picture on the left there. So they had to send that back to the company. So they're sending me another one out. I should have it uh, Friday or Monday coming up this week. Uh, yeah, that's really about it, but on a lighter note, I took the drone out just to have a little fun. This thing is like uncrashable. You cannot crash it. It has, uh, six, seven cameras built into it and avoids every obstacle. If you try to fly it into a wall or a tree or anything, it just avoids it completely. You'll see in this video now, I kind of bring it in the backyard and I try to like crash it into the weeds and to the trees and I there's a you'll see let me show you guys the back right now I'm just still messing around trying to get acclimated with all the controls I haven't flew it in a while but this used to be these are all these used to be all um officers homes back in the day like officers and in, in the military and in the higher ranks but um they refurbished them and now they're townhomes but uh on the other side, completely on the other side of that field, when I first started out, they sell those homes. They're like uh, 800 to a million. You know, not bad for what you get. They're pretty nice, but they're all still close together. You know, I would never buy here. I like a little more land. But uh, here I go, walking in the back. I decided not to put music in this video, guys. I'm just going to talk to you guys. Hopefully, I don't bore you too much. So I try to hit that tree? I, I didn't turn. It just does it by itself. It completely avoids. I go back and try to hit the tree again. It just goes <laughs> It just goes around it. It's a pretty amazing drone. See that? I'm trying to fly into it, and it just stops. Just, just to see the capabilities of it, you know? Just a little test. Because uh, as, as, as fun as this drone is, I'm actually, I actually just put it on a Facebook marketplace for sale. Because uh, I got my use out of it. I only flew it like maybe seven, eight times. I just, not that it's bored. I'm not bored of it, but I got so many other things going on. I don't really need, I don't need this thing, you know? And I got the whole case with it and three batteries. I got the whole, I got the whole shebang. The controller, the beacon, the batteries. I got the hard case. And believe it or not, usually when you buy toys or bikes or anything like this, it usually depreciates. I bought this, well, I bought the whole package. So mine was originally a lot more money than what they were going for. But they were, they were going for, just for the drone, 
thousand dollars. They just raised the price to fifteen ninety nine just for the drone, because the technology in this thing is way above. I'm telling you, you came for the price point. It's an amazing technology for that price. What you're getting, where where could you buy that? The thing flies by itself. I'm trying to hit the wall here. I'm trying to fly right into the wall. It just stops. It backs up. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. But uh, I don't know. I was gonna keep it, but I got too many. I got too many things, man. I don't really need all this stuff. And uh, next year I'm gonna probably get out of these apartments and probably buy a house or a condo somewhere else. I might go down south. I haven't decided yet. Uh, or even Pennsylvania I was looking, but I'm not too sure about that. I like being by the shore. I think I come by... Oh, no, this ain't it. I thought I went by the basketball hoop there. I was just going up and above, checking everything out. But, uh, yeah. I just start to... I'm going to start selling some things I'm not using that much because I don't need it. I got, I, got, I got another drone. I got the DJI, uh, the Mavic Mini 2. That's an incredible drone, too. It doesn't do what this does, not even close. It has 4K camera, but it does not avoid obstacles. Unless you go up the ladder and buy the uh, the 2S, the you know the bigger one, the Mavic Air 2S. But uh, I don't need that technology. This thing is pretty incredible, though. But I actually have two. I got four bikes in my possession right now. I'm buying too many bikes. I don't need those either. So I'm selling two bikes too. I got those on Facebook Marketplace as well. I'm just getting rid of stuff. I just don't need it. I'm trying to downsize a little bit because when I move, I don't want a lot of crap. So, But the the camera quality on this drone is simply amazing. Just look at that picture. Just bear with me. I go back down and I try to hit a, I hit, try to hit that basketball hoop. You'll see. It doesn't belong to us. It's not really meant to be played with right now. They used to be long back in when the Army base was functioning. I guess uh, that was like a nice park back there and stuff. I remember driving back here. When I was a kid, my aunt used to take me to the army base. They used to have a you know active movie theater and a bowling alley, and a grocery store. My uncle used to be a colonel in the army, um, and uh, it used to be a great army base. Man, it used to be impeccable. Every, everything was so pristine and clean and manicured. Not that it's not clean now, but it's just different now. They're trying to put it back together now to sell homes and stuff and condos. But back in the day, you drove through here. It was it was pretty amazing. They had the soldiers, you know, they salute you when you come in. But, uh, yeah, over here, I'm just checking out this house over here. They're, um, this is the last house. I, I, I really can't see it through the trees, and I was actually losing signal because you're supposed to shut off the Wi-Fi in your phone when you're flying this drone, and I forgot to do it. So the signal started breaking up here a little bit. But, uh, yeah, my niece is... Uh, my niece's husband was, uh, he's kind of doing construction in this last house, the last phase of this development. It's the most expensive one. I think it's selling for a million, but it's the biggest house. It's right on the lake. He's doing construction. I was trying to see it, but I couldn't. I told you I was losing the signal, so I was kind of nervous to keep going forward. But, uh, it's pretty cool. I take my bike, uh, my dogs for a walk in that field all the time. It's a nice place, but... Uh, the, the the apartments themselves they're not bad, but they're going for like uh I'm I'm paying twenty eight hundred dollars a month rent, but you know we're all with my kids right now we're all chipping in whatever but it's still very expensive rent so I'm probably just gonna after this year move on go somewhere just buy something. I had a house by the ocean a couple of years back I got rid of. Uh, made a good profit on it, but I kind of regret a little bit, kind of, you know, missing the house a little bit, but there are some circumstances that I can't go back. Past is the past. Got to move on. Just want to show you guys the view of this thing. The drone's pretty amazing. And yeah, a new police station over there. Straight ahead, right, right, right in the middle of the screen right now. It's like they just built a new Oceanport police station there. Pretty nice. That's like public works behind. My niece used to work in a building in the back over there. It's uh, 
the hell is it called? I think it was called Beacon of Life or something. Took care of the older patients and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm coming down now and then I'm going to try to avoid some trees and some basketball stuff. The basketball hoop. Yeah, they're pretty big. They're pretty big uh, townhomes for rent. They're not bad. I'm not knocking that. But to give away $2,800 a month every month, it's, it's insane. It's too much money. There's just a little waypoint for now until I find something. Here, let's see. Yeah, I got a buyer for the um, got a buyer for the bike already, yeah, the both bikes. But you know, you get a lot of you get a lot of messages on Facebook, so you gotta see. You know, nobody ever shows up sometimes, and some people make offers, ridiculous offers. But I lowered the price a little bit on the bikes. They should go this week. Everything I ever put on Facebook Marketplace, they sell pretty quickly. There's the Jeep. Just waiting to go out west still, guys. I want to make a lot of camping videos, but uh, going through some stuff right now, some personal problems with the family. Um, just waiting until uh, my girl gets a little better, until she feels a little better to go out west. Go out west there for a couple months, go camping. But what a day today. Yesterday, I went to the beach all day. It was nice. It was hot. Today was only... um. I think the high was like only 71. So it's pretty still nice. Great, great temperature. Just did, like I told you, didn't feel like doing anything today. Woke up, kind of felt in a funky mood. Didn't feel like doing nothing. Had a little funk going on. But uh, yeah, a little quiet, quiet neighborhood today. No one's around. Yeah, my neighbor just got that truck. Pretty nice truck, the TRD, Tacoma. They're pretty sharp. I told me I to put big wheels and lift it, put a lift kit on it and bigger tires. But it's a company vehicle for him, so I'm sure he don't care about that stuff. Right, here we go. Yeah, look at the mess back here. There's a lot of ticks back here and stuff, so you really can't play in this area. But at one time, yeah, I'm sure the officers and all the soldiers used to play here. Probably used to be a nice park. There's a lot of, you know, there's other parks around the complex with grills and right by the lake, but everything's overgrown now. They let everything go. So here I'm trying to hit it. I try to fly the drone right into it and it wouldn't, wouldn't happen. But you know, just imagine the memories back here, right? All the families and stuff playing with the houses. And there, there was, back then I told you it was pristine. The landscaping was beautiful back here and everything, you know? They had retaining walls going down the hill over here and everything was, everything was clipped and nice. And see, you see the bench? It was probably a nice park back in the day. But they didn't do that for the apartment. I'm very surprised. They should have put parking back there, like where that basketball hoop was. They should have made a big parking lot back here so everybody could park and get all the cars off the street. Makes no sense. I don't think they, I don't think they planned very well. If they did that, you'd have all the street clear and you, wouldn't, you don't have to allow parking on the street. It just makes sense. In case there's ever emergency, fire trucks, anything, you could just park it. They could park anywhere they want, emergency vehicles. Look at this area back here. Perfect area for a big parking lot for all the residents. They could have just did that. I have no idea why. I guess it's like a nature preserve or something. There's, there's a lot of deer running through. I guess that's why, but they could have put a little parking lot. You know, you don't have to tear down every tree for that. Doesn't matter. I'm getting the hell out of here anyway. Nice place, but time to go soon. Check that out. They're very sharp buildings, I'll tell you. They did a good job. I think that's it. Should be should be ending the video soon. Let's see. I think I fly over to my Jeep in a second. Where do I go? Oh, I checked the gutters out. Now I'm trying to hit the roof with the drone, and it just it just it avoids everything. Like I told you, it has seven cameras. It's constantly looking around. It avoids all objects 360 degrees. But uh, yeah, there's a problem. The reason I did this, the gutters, when it rains, all the gutters overflow right by our front door. You can't even walk out the front door when it rains because it's like Niagara Falls. It's crazy. All these gutters are all clogged up. But the maintenance guy I talked to last week said uh, he, um, the management is aware of it. And they're, they're, they're doing bids right now on people coming to clean all the gutters and the whole complex. 
So hopefully that happens soon. Not a big deal because when it's raining, I don't I don't go out anyway. Nice day. I'm usually on my bicycle riding around. That's my son yelling upstairs. He's playing Xbox or something. Who the hell knows what he's doing? But um, yeah, he's the last one to graduate graduate college there. I think he's going down to Maryland or something. I'm not sure yet. Or or Washington. I think he's going to become a transit police and then go for his. He wants to end up in a secret service White House or something. That's what he wants to do. You know, Homeland Security. So that's what he just. That's what he uh, studied in school. Criminal, criminal law, and all that stuff. Yeah, these drones are amazing. It's pretty amazing what you can do with these. Now the DJI, you can't take off sometimes over here. I have a problem taking off because, like I told you, it's a, it's a military base, and they used to have a, a helipad on 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 campus on the base. And it's still classified as a helipad, even though it's not. They don't use it anymore. But according to DGI, whenever I try to fly and turn on the drone, it comes up Greeley Air Force, a Greeley Air Base. And that's part of uh, Fort Monmouth back in the day. But I haven't seen a helicopter land over there since I've been here, you know, past two years. But the Scadio doesn't have any restrictions. You turn it on, you just fly. You know, DGI, DGI has that put in place. On the app, it searches the map and stuff and, and will not let you fly in by airport or helipads or anything. Yeah, somebody's moving in over there. You see the pods? Somebody's moving in this weekend or this week. Some guy used to live next door, he moved out. <clears throat> yeah, it's a pretty cool shot here. From above, got the camera angled down. I'm just messing around today. I appreciate all you guys uh, subscribing and watching the videos. I'm not trying to get rich off this. It's just a little hobby. Keeps me busy. Love the Jeep. But uh, after I'm done with the Jeep and the camper, that's what I told you. I plan on going out west for a couple months or whatever. I, I'd like to do six months. But we'll see. But, uh, yeah, someday. I'm, I'm getting older. I'll probably get rid of the camper, the Jeep, and probably uh, just get a regular, every everyday person's boring car. No offense to all the boring cars out there, but I like to be a little different. That's why I got the Jeep. But, again, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I try to land on the Scotio logo here, but I think from all that bird crap on my hood and that glare from the sun, some reason... It wouldn't find a logo today. I had to catch it in my hand. And I, and I had videos in the past where, where it successfully landed right on the logo. Because that's what it does. It finds the Scadio logo and it lands right on it, dead center. I don't know if it does with the controller. I haven't used this controller in a while. But the beacon and everything else, dead on. As soon as I hit it land, it finds that logo and lands right on it. I was having a hard time. Look at that bald head, guys. I'm losing my hair, too. Can you believe it? But, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Just messing around today. Again, thank you for all the love. I appreciate everything, everybody watching and subscribing. You guys take care. I'll do the Super 73 video coming up.